Hi guys, how are you? Today our class will be about areas of triangles, low cosine again, but we need to know how we can also find the area of triangle using different way. We took two ways. One when you are in your uh, seventh grade, sixth grade, eighth grade, which is half time the base time the height. Then we took another way using low signs, which is half time A time B time sine of the angle between the two sides. If you have any two given sides, you multiply them, you multiply the result by half, then by the sign of the angle between the two sides. Then our class today, as you see, low cosine and area of the triangle. After the class, if you have any question, you can text me on this phone number or send an email for your concern. And if you like the class, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us go and see what we what we're going to do today. What I'm going and together we're gonna to go and do. Okay, let us see what we have. Then, as I said, our class about low cosines. This number two, uh, you have to see the first YouTube about the low cosine. Then, let us go to this triangle, the non triangle, this right triangle, this right triangle. This right triangle has a 90 degree angle. Let us say this guy has a, a 6, six units, meter, centimeter, whatever it is, or 8. Let me just take it, get this to be 8. Is it longer? 8. and this guy uh, six uh, I, I meant to do this this is very good to know in what in SAT when you have six and eight the hypotenuse is ten just for the for anyone who doesn't know how to calculate it use the Pythagorean theorem which is six square plus eight square equals c square 6 squared is 36. If you just to refresh your memory, c squared 100 equals c squared. You take the square root and you get 10. But you have to for the SAT, you have to remember uh, the 3, 6, 8, 10. You can have a 3, 4, and 5. Multiple of 3. Okay, 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10. Multiple of 3 and 4 and 5. The longest side or with the hypotenuse. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. How we find the area of this guy? How we find the area of this guy? Okay. Area equal. The basic method. Area equal half base times height. Area equal half base is eight. And height is what? Height is. 6. Then you multiply half times 8, 4 times 6 is 24. This is one way. This special way for a special triangle. This is special way for a special triangle when you have the triangle has right angle only. Let us see another way. I'm going to do this problem another way. Let us take another. Let us take another. Let us take another uh, way, which is half and two sides. If I take the side, this this first way, way number one, this is the second way. I'm going to do it in three different ways to see if I get the same answer. Look here. If we take, if we said uh, we're going to take this side, let us call this uh, A and this B and this C. As we learn from, as we learn from, as we learn from the low sign, uh, I'm going to take this angle, 
which is this side is C, this side is B, right? A lowercase, and this side is what? A. I'm going to take A and C. Then area of triangle equal half A times C times what? Sine B. Sine what? The angle B. Sine the angle B. Okay, let us what? Finish the problem. See if we get the same answer. Equal area half A is 8, C is 10. And sine, if you remember from previous knowledge, you have it. Sine equal what, guys? Sine of any angle. Opposite over what? Hypotenuse, right? Then sine B equal. Opposite of B is what? 6. And the hypotenuse is what? 10. Ten. Then I can hear the tip side be about 6 over what? 10. What happened with 10 and 10? Cancel, right? Then what half 8? 4 times 6 is 24. Wow. The same answer. This another way. Then one way, this number 1, this number 2. Let me put line here and line here. This is the first way, this line here, and take this bad line, fix it, and put line here, and line here. This is the second way. Third way. Okay. Third way. <laughs> Third way, if you don't want to use an angles. Third way, if you don't want to use an angles. Let us see what I'm going to do for the third way. Three. You add all the side, what we call it, perimeter, the perimeter of the triangle, right? P is the perimeter of the triangle. You add all the side. Six plus eight plus what? Ten. You see, step one to add for the, for the third, third way is to add all the side. This is good for any triangle. You don't have, for any triangle, you don't have to know any angle. You don't have to, to worry about if it's right triangle or not right triangle. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to worry is to know all the side of the triangle in any shape. AQ triangles, obtuse triangle, whatever triangle you have, okay? Okay? Now, who are these three sides? Who are three, these three sides? Okay, what? 60 plus 8 plus 10? What? 60 plus 8 plus 10 equal uh, 24. This is not the answer. Okay, this is step one. The step two. This is step one. Let me call it A. The first step. The first, second step is to divide 24 by 2. 24 divided by 1. Then you find the side. Then first you find the perimeter. Second, you divide the perimeter by 2. Always. You divide it by 1, 2, always. Your answer is 12. Now you, uh, let me just put the answer in black. I'm, 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 Then after that, what do you do? Look here what I'm going to do. 12 minus 6. 12, 12. I'm going to put 3 twelves because I have 3 sides. Then 12 minus 6. 12 minus 8. 12 minus 10. Then you subtract from this value the side of each triangle, the 3 sides given which is equal to the blue, 6, uh, 4, and 2. Then, you multiply, I want to tell you what that, and then area equal 
6, 12, 12, Let me just write this one second. Which one you can do it if you want, and here you can you see the, the result. Here you can, if you want a quick way, you can multiply this by 12, this by 12, this by 12, and you can get the answers here, then move it to the square root 72, 72, 48, and 24. Then here. Area equal seventy two times forty eight times twelve, then twenty four. Then you multiply and you find your answer and you take the square root. What I'm going to do? Seventy two times. By two, oh, one s, this one s, this one second with the formula. Okay, now this multiplication, this now addition. Okay, yeah, I need to fix it a little bit. Uh, just a little bit of fix this and this. We multiply. One second, guys. We have. The twelve time. Just let me just twelve minus six. These values six, and we don't need this. This we don't need this. Okay, twelve times six. Time. I, I, I did it different way, but I'm gonna make it a little easier for you. Four and two. Four and two. That's easier. This way is easier. You want to red and four and here uh, six. Then what do what we get? We multiply twelve. That this guy here comes here, and the difference between this guy and each side. The difference between this guy and each side is a lot easier. And you. Multiply these values, 12, look here, just for multiplication, 12 times 48 
and find the square root of this. 12 times 48 second square root. But this is 576. This is area equal 576, which is 24. We get the same answer. Okay. Then again, I'm going to repeat this. Then we found the perimeter. 6 plus 8 plus 10 equal 24. Then 24 over 2 is 12. Then 12 times 6 times 4 times 2. How I get these numbers? We subtract 12 minus 6, 12 minus 8, 12 minus. Then these three, 6, 4, and 2 is here. Time this guy. Okay. This is, for, we prove it for right triangle. We prove it for the old way. Let us go to this triangle. Let us go to this triangle. Let us solve this triangle. This triangle, A, B, and C. This angle is 60 degrees. And uh, this, I'm, I'm making my own number. I'm making my own number. And this side is 12. And this side is this side here. 12. This side, you remember, this side is B. B, lowercase, right? And this side, A, lowercase, right? This side has to be given to find what the. Uh, uh, the third side using law of cosine, right? A equal uh, 18 centimeters. Centimeter. Let me take it in centimeters. Centimeter. Now, using law of cosine to fill the third side, law of cosine, please watch the video before. Law of, of cosine. Okay, if you have any question, always you can, if you have any questions, you can always ask me, okay? If you have any questions, you can always send it to me, and you can ask me, okay? You remember the, uh, we're looking for this side C. This is C and right. You remember the form C, this C, not A. This is C. Let me fix it. C square equal what? Go ahead, guys. A, you see how easy A square, B square minus 2, always 2, and A and B, and B cosine what? C, cosine the angle C. This is what we did last time in the previous video. Now, let us put our numbers. You need your calculator to be ready. A square is 18 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 18, 12, cosine 60. Cosine 60 degrees. Now, I'm going to do it. You can do it in your calculator. 18 square plus 12 square 2 times 18 times 12 times cosine 60. Okay. Two fifty two. Then C square equal two. 52. Then the last step is to take the, the square root to get what C. That gives you C equal square root of 52. Square root of 52. 252 equal about 15. I'm going to round it to the 15.987. I'm going to round it. It's about 16. I'm going to just for the this guy 16. 16. Now if you need to find this angle, you can find it's about 16. Now let us find your low side in here. I'm gonna low side low side, which we need angle A, or I'm gonna use it at the top a little bit here because I have everything. 
uh, sine A, to find A, sine A in red, and everything in the blue, everything we know in the blue. Okay, sine A over 18. Which angle? Sine C, because we have sine C, sine 60 over the side C, which is we just found, 16. Multiply both sides by what? 18. You know that from yesterday. We bracket this a lot times 18. Then side A equal. Let us see what the answer for this using the calculator. This 18, guys. This 18. 18. Then sine 60 divided by 16 times 18, 0.974. The, now A equals sine, you remember that? A, the angle A equals sine inverse of the angle uh, the point nine seven four, which is equal. Let us see what in using the calculator. A equal. A equal. Seventy six point about seventy seven. Seventy six point nine seven. I'm rounding my answer. Just about 77. This 77. Now it's easy to find the third angle. You remember 180 minus 180 minus the sum of 77 and 66. 77 plus 66. Because the sum, right? 180 minus 77 minus 66 is 37. It's 37. 37. 37 here. Okay. Look, look, watch something. The shortest side opposite to the sh uh, smallest angle. Come, come see. Look here. Yeah, if, if, to, know, to know if your answer is right or not. 37 opposite to the 12 centimeters, 37 the least. The greatest angle is 77, opposite to the longest side. This is a good way to know if your answer. And 60 is opposite to a 16. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then always the shortest side, opposite to the uh, smallest angle. Mm -hmm. And the longest side? Opposite to the longest angle. The greatest angle, right? Mm -hmm. Which is 77. Now I have all the sides. I have, I can lose what? Find the area, right? I have what A, what B, what C. A is... 18, B12 is 18. Let me just write my, in this side, to find the area now. Look here, I don't write A for this triangle. A is what? A is 18. B is what? Uh, 12. C is 16. Find the perimeter. P equal how much? 18. 12, 16, which is how much? Uh, 30, 46. 46, right? Divided by what now? By 2. You see how to find the area. Then look, look how easy this 46 divided by what? 2 equal 23. Then after that, you take each side, 18, uh, 23, here in the side, you put 23 three times. 3 what? 3 times, minus 18, and minus 12, and minus what? 16. 16. Look how easy. This equal how much? And this equal? 11, right? And this equal? 7, right? Then, after that, you take this number, you multiply your area equal, the square root of this guy, the 23, the 23, right, times these three numbers, which is what? The 5, and 11, and 7. 
Now you go to the calculator. You go to the calculator. 23 times 5 times 11 times 7. Enter. Second square root, second answer. 94 is about 94. A equal 94.1. 94.1 It's here, right? This is the only class, the class we did before. 94, okay. Okay, area equal square root of 8, 8, 5, 5. Area equal 94, actually 0.1, but I'm going to round it to 94. Now, look here. Let me just try something. If I have, see how, uh, okay. I think I have one, two minutes. Okay. I'm going to take 22 sides and the angle between to see how much the answer. I round it, right? I'm going to take half AB side, okay? Side 60. Half AB side 60, right? Also, you can find the area equal half. A, B, sine what, C. Sine what, C. Right? Half, A, sine, 60. A is how much? 18, 12, right? 18 and what? Let me just do it. I multiply it using the calculator. And it's about, because we're wrong. I said, it's come to me about 93. It's about, which is 93.5, exactly. 93.5, just I need to be fair to you guys. Because I run something. It comes 90, exactly, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair, 93.5. 5, 3, which is about how much? 9, you are 4. Or you can do a half base times height. The height, if you remember. Okay, go here, back, 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 back. The height, you can take the height here. Here. This is my height, which is, right, the height here, this is B, sine 60, right, the height, the height, you can find the height, I'm going to do this later on, in one class, how I can find the height for triangles, now guys, thank you for listening, thank you for being with me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and like, and if you have any question, Please don't hesitate to send me your concern for any time. Remember, our SAT class is going to be daily basis starting June, starting June, starting June, uh, after the school end. Our class SAT is going to be daily basis. Every day I'm going to have SAT class test solving a problem. Uh, it's going to be very condensed for you guys. Thank you and have a nice day.